McLaren has revealed an aggressive side pod solution as part of the major upgrade it has unleashed at Formula One Singapore Grand Prix. The Woking-based team had made a significant number of revisions to its MCL60 for this weekend's race around the Marina Bay circuit as it bids to lift its performance in slow corners. The changes encompass several key areas of the car, but the most obvious is a bold approach to its side pod design, which features a very deep water slide channel. With the team having revised the shape and size of its side pod inlet, it has been able to sculpt a deep valley in the upper side pod area, while also maintaining an extensive undercut to help with the car aerodynamics. The changes to the side pod work in conjunction with a revised engine cover, which is aimed at better directing airflow to help the floor produce more downforce. The floor itself has also been changed, with new fences, floor edge and a different diffuser shape all aimed to bring more load. McLaren has also worked on other key areas of the car, which include new front and rear wing end plate geometry, new aerodynamic parts around the halo, and a more loaded beam wing geometry because of the high downforce nature of the Singapore circuit. The MCL60 also features a revised rear tow link shroud on the rear suspension which works in conjunction with new brake duct geometry to further enhance performance at the back of the car. Lando Norris will have exclusive use of the entire upgrade package for this weekend's Singapore GP, while Oscar Piastri will only get some of the parts for now. Both cars will be fitted with all the new elements for next weekend's Japanese GP. Speaking about the changes, Norris said that the focus for the tweaks was on lifting performance in slow corners, which has been a car weakness so far this season. Probably since Austria, it is the thing that we believe will kind of help us move forward the most since then, he said. Obviously, we've not run it on the track yet and so we don't want to say too much until we've actually got it to work properly, but it's a good step. The team have worked hard to get it on one of the cars here, and then we'll have the rest in Japan too. So, it is an exciting couple of weekends for us. On the other hand, Lewis Hamilton says he doesn't want to rely on misfortune hitting Red Bull's Max Verstappen to win races and that Mercedes must level up to match Formula One's dominators. Red Bull has won every race in 2023, with Verstappen currently on a record run of 10 consecutive Grand Prix victories after his Monza triumph two weeks ago. Hamilton praised Verstappen and Red Bull's chief technical officer Adrian Newey for the exceptional job that they have done this year. The final eight races of the season include two street circuits, three sprint weekends and several venues where rain is a strong possibility, all things that present challenges that could potentially contribute to ending Verstappen's run. However, Hamilton prefers to focus on getting Mercedes back to a position where it can win on merit. I don't like to look at that sort of thing. When asked by Motorsport.com about the possibility of Verstappen being tripped up ahead of this weekend's Singapore Grand Prix. I was just asked a question earlier, would you rather take Max out of the equation or take Adrian Newey out of the equation? Something like that. And I was like, neither, I think we just have to level up and do a better job. They've done an exceptional job, and you can't fault them for the amazing work that they collectively are doing and have done. I just want to level up all of us. But there's a lot of opportunity for sure in these next eight races. So just trying to make sure that we are prepared to be there if something does happen to be coming our way. But we remain hopeful for that. Lewis Hamilton, a four-time winner of the Singapore GP, was non-committal about the potential of the W14 around Marina Bay. I don't know, I think we were relatively competitive last year, but we had not such a great race, he said. But given the car we had last year, I'm hoping the car has progressed quite a lot since last year. So hopefully, we are maybe a little bit closer than to the front. I'm hoping we can fight for a podium. I'll find out tomorrow with everybody, but that's the reality. Asked about the impact of the replacement of four corners by a new section of straight he said, it'll make the lap easier, that's for sure. It gives less corners for Red Bull to be further ahead. It's a short straight. So I don't think anyone will have an advantage, particularly on it. Except for the Ferraris might be quick on the straight maybe, or the Red Bulls maybe? But I think it's such a short straight, I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. And I mean, there's generally nowhere that our car is favored. And this is not a particular track that's been a strong place for us in the past. But, compared with, last year, as I said, with this type of car, we tend to be a little bit quicker than we thought we were going to be.
So maybe that I hope that's the case this weekend. On the other hand, Yuki Tsunoda is confident that a major F1 upgrade package introduced by AlphaTauri in Singapore will address the rear-end stability issues that have blighted the at zero for this season. The aero updates include a revised and wider engine cover, a modified floor body, floor edge and diffuser, new side pod inlets, and changes to the mirrors. Explaining the floor modifications, the Italian team noted that the forward floor edge changes lower static pressure local to the floor edge and helps draw increased mass flow under the forward floor between the fences, adding that the diffuser modifications enhance the strength of the rear floor edge vorticity, giving a local load gain within the diffuser. At the rear, the suspension shrouds have been reprofiled, and the brake drum scoop inlets redesigned. Regarding the latter change, the team says that it reduces losses incident onto the upper rearward wing cascade, thereby increasing their local load. The revised scoop exit also allows these wings to generate more load by causing less aerodynamic blockage. In addition, the suspension shroud changes create a better interaction with the new rear brake drum geometry, increasing local load generated by the wing elements of the drum assembly. Tsunoda is anticipating that a step in performance will be evident over the Singapore weekend. We have we have a lot of upgrades this into this Grand Prix, said the Japanese driver. I would say we're hoping for one of the biggest packages because we are bringing a lot of upgrades from the aero side as well. This is the main part we're working on so hard to increase the performance, a couple of bits in the mechanical side. But mainly from aero, this aero stuff will hopefully change our standings, where we normally race. Regarding the issue that the team has struggled with all year, he said, I think we know that we're lacking support from the rear, that is the feedback from Daniel, Ricardo, and Liam, Lawson, so I think the direction we are taking for the upgrades is definitely the right direction and hopefully that will gain us driver's confidence as well. Tsunoda tried the new package in the Milton Keynes simulator before heading to Singapore, and he said he could feel a difference in car behavior that wasn't evident with the last major package, which was introduced for the British GP. In the simulator already I felt more difference compared to Silverstone, he said. Silverstone in the simulator I didn't feel a huge difference, a bit of lap time gain from just load itself, but this time, I can feel that little bit of characteristic change. Still kind of similar direction to what we have now, but kind of on top of it a bit more support from the rear end entry, where were we lacking? Obviously, in the simulator it's hard to feel the clear difference. The real track is a lot more different things going on, so we have to check with that, but so far we're in a good direction and lap time gain was much more than what I had in the Silverstone simulator. So I feel pretty optimistic.